And a warm welcome from a venue that really oozes football history. I'm talking, of course, about the San Siro in Milan. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top division here in Italy. It's Milan facing Fiorentina. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here. Attack the game from the off, impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. Here's the Milan team. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Simon Kerr plays alongside Alessio Romagnoli in central defence. And the striker is someone who can finish with the best of them, Ante Rebic. Well, here's how it looks for Fiorentina. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. Sofian Amrabat. And now passing it through. He might profit from here, you know. Rebic. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence and then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Promising sequence. A deep delivery. And another one! Two quick goals! Will it turn out to be the two punch knockout? Well, here's the replay. It's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area. And what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. Fantastic goal. So, 2-0 now. Ha segnato il Milan con il numero 12.
è stata ritrovata una borsa nei bagni delle donne chiunque l'abbia persa Nicola Milenkovic take it away Rebic well read to put an end to that attack well the referee wasn't going to let that go Christian Kuame Gaetano Castrovilli and space for them here on the flank and the cross into the middle in it goes a three goal cushion this is astonishing stuff Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post, terrible. So continuing with the action, and the fact of the matter is, Milan are running away with this. Gaetano Castrovilli. Kawame with it. Well, he could really get at the opposition. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. And firing it into the area. Biragi. He's beaten his man. Spot on with that tackle. And space to attack. And played in. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Davide Calabria. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Ribéry. It is to be a throw-in. And room now out on the wing. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Firing it towards goal. Able to get his body in the way. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Chance to cross. There to win it back. Now can they make something happen? Cristiano Biraghi. And a decent delivery. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, I want to see this one again, and there it is. I wonder how he gets so much power from that position, but he really does. It's a brilliant, brilliant effort. A chance to revisit the goal. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Castrovilli. And there it is, the half-time whistle.
And we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a terrific game and attack lead. Well, he's been brilliant today. He's caused that back line all sorts of problems, shifting him around around that box and then getting his shots away. Absolutely fantastic. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Chalanolu. Crisp tackling. Ray Beach. He cuts it back. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Castrovili. And it's with Amrabat. Paul Lirola. Sofian Amrabat. And smart defending. And a throw-in forthcoming. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Excellent challenge. Well, that's one for them to pursue. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, we can see it again here now, and it all starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Ha segnato la Fiorentina con il numero 77... Jose Callejon. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Well, they no longer have the ball. Well, Fiorentina enjoying the bulk of possession here. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control. You've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something happen in this game. Samu Castillejo. Bonaventura on to Pulgar. Bonaventura with it. Oh, nice ball. And delivered towards the back post. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Nicely cut out. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. So making the substitution now. And firing it into the area. Able to deal with the threat. Christian Kuame. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Cross could be useful. Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, here's the replay, and it's a great ball into the danger area. And then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. And if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. 
Martin Cáceres. Kessier. Teo Hernandez now. Hernandez. Romagnoli. Teo Hernandez. Teo Hernandez now. Kessier has it. Wasteful from Milan. Well, just listen to these Milan fans. The crowd very much behind the team right now. It's been a tough game, but not long to go now. And forward they go, chasing the game. And he read it well defensively. Ribéry. On to Pulgar. Callejon. And now Bonaventura. He's protecting it well. This could square the game. Oh, a goal! What a comeback! Who on earth could have predicted this? Well, as we can see, if a striker is free in the box and the great ones just stand still, they know chances will come in that position and he wasn't disappointed. Well, you don't get too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. And only two minutes remaining here. Milan still going forward as the minutes tick away. Even Steven. Making sure nothing came of it. Rebic. Castillejo. Tonali with it. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two.